Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my first official video, but um, essentially for the year of 2020, I want to work on as many crochet stitches as I can. I don't expect that I'll have the time to do 365, but maybe it's 2020, maybe I can get 220 done. Um, the first one is gonna be single crochet because it's nice, easy, um, generally the first one that you learn. I'm using Red Heart with Love yarn. I believe the colorway is Lemon Drop and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. The first thing that you have to do is make a slip knot and this is how I do the slip knot. There are so many videos about how to do it or written instructions. Um, this is just how I do it. Once you have your slip knot, um, you are able to start chaining. Um, to chain, you essentially just pull a loop through your slip knot and that becomes your chain or your working yarn. And I'm gonna do that 20 times. I'm hoping throughout this whole project to do, to make like six inch wide panels um, so that I can at the end somehow connect them together, maybe into a blanket, um, maybe a very long scarf. I don't know. For the first row, when you're working into the chain, um, some people will go through the V-shaped loops on the front of the chain right here. And um, that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. But I prefer to, as much as possible, work into the bumps on the back. And that means that those nice uniform Vs on the front side are going to be what's visible um at the end when I finish my work and it's a lot easier to work borders into those stitches than it is to work borders into the bumps and it just gives a nice uniform look um so that's what I'll be doing you can see that it's a little bit more fiddly to work into the little bumps on the back um but I think it's worth it personally And to do a single crochet, you yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's your first single crochet right there. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. And I always like to put a stitch marker in my very first and very last stitch. Um, you'll see later in the video that I only had one stitch marker. So when I get to the end of the row and go to work the second row, I will steal the stitch marker from the other end. Um, it's pretty easy to see what stitch to work into with single crochet. But lots of times if you're new and just learning how to do it, you'll sort of get wavy edges where you might add a stitch at one end you might drop a stitch or miss a stitch a at the other in end this, cause this is and kill so marking back. that first and last stitch really keeps um helps you keep track of your work why don't you get the pause table i'm sorry what why don't you get the gray table for D&D? oh i don't know How are you going to do it? Are you just recording it on your video? On, your... on my phone. So you're just using the normal camera app that comes with the phone? Yeah. And then you're recording it. And then I'm going to mute the video and I'm going to do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing. How do you do voiceovers? 
there's an iMovie app. I'm going to go ahead and speed this section up just a little bit <coughs> so that um, the video is not 20 minutes long. Um, but essentially all the way to the end of my 20th stitch, I'm inserting into the bump on the bottom of the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. I'm sure eventually I'll figure out what to do with these um, awkward silent spaces in between where I want to talk, but today is not that day. Um, and here you can see the nice little um, edges. The V's of the chain that I worked into um, look just like the V's on top of the single crochet. Um, so that's part of why I work into the bumps. I was just counting my stitches to make sure that I did indeed have 20. Um, when you work the second row of single crochet, you want to chain one so you can turn your work. And then you don't want to work into that chain you just made, but you want to work into the very first stitch. Um, so insert your hook. Make sure that you're underneath both, both front and back of that V yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Um, on this next stitch, I think I do, um, I accidentally pick up the front loop only. So the front loop is the one that's closest to your body right there. And then the back loop is the one that's farthest away from your body, this one right here. Um, so there are some situations or some stitches where you'll want to work either in the front loop or the back loop, but a normal single crochet is not that. So you wanna make sure you're getting your hook underneath both front and back of those Vs when you're working. If you notice the way that I'm holding my hook, um, that's why well, I just switched my grip. But the one that I normally use by default is a pencil grip. And then I just switched to a knife grip. Personally, I, I switch back and forth. I probably do like 75% pencil grip and 25% knife grip just to keep my wrist from getting exhausted. Um, I do have some carpal tunnel issues in my right hand. And so knowing how to crochet in both positions or with multiple different holds is really helpful because I'll just cycle through those. And then once I've cycled all the way through, if my wrist is still acting up, then I take a little break. And there's my last stitch. Um, so I just pulled up the loop. And I'm just going to let that hang out until tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to work the half double crochet right on top of the single crochet. And I'll just keep going with this six inch long strip. Um, I got on my ruler to make sure it was actually six inches because I just eyeballed it. But I eyeballed correctly. So um, tomorrow I'll be back and I'll be half double crocheting into that um, second single crochet row that I made. Thanks for watching. Bye.